We have some exciting news for the farm. Those are all our glass jars and they no longer have to be stored in the house. When the bees, when we get all the honey, the supers come off and those also have to be stored. And we have about 40 or 50 boxes and we're running out of room. So I officially have a honey house. Beautiful part about the storage unit. It's waterproof, rodent proof. Got a pint, paint a honey house sign on there. But yep, I've officially got my own honey house. And the goal, I want to get it dirty inside. On this side, over here, I'm gonna have the spinner and I'm gonna build a table of some sort for uncapping. And I gotta get lights in here. Back there is the jar storage. On this side is going to be the honey supers and all the other miscellaneous beekeeping equipment. Anyone that's a beekeeper knows you end up accumulating a lot over time and you take up a lot of room with your stuff. I currently have had I have equipment at my parents' house. I have equipment in one of my sheds is completely full. And we store stuff in the basement, kitchen, wherever I can find it. So I'm super excited, but this is going to be the honey house. And we're gonna um, document everything as we go along the way so that other people that wanna make a honey house can do the same. Um, this is a 10 by 20 Connex box and it's gonna be really cool to set up the bench and do things properly and it's gonna streamline everything and make it a lot easier to do so thanks for watching again if you guys could like and subscribe it helps us out so we can spread the word and continue making these all right thanks for watching